I'll do something that I do at every show, but let's see if it works here. I'm Palestinian. Are there any Palestinians in the audience tonight? Okay. <laughs> That's good. We got Palestinians. We got white people? Any white people? Yeah? A couple? One? Which? The one wearing the veil? Really? We really, we took you in, huh? Why, 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 what happened to you? Why, what happened? What's your name? What's your, Shuismik? What is it? Nahil? What was your name when you were white? I lived in a neighborhood, now I lived with all white people. Everybody that I lived around was white, everybody. Everybody was white. And, and, and I had my best friend lived across the street, his name was Tommy. And um, we, we were best friends, man. We used to do everything together, you know. Uh, his mom was different than my mom. His mom would let him do stuff that my mom would never let us do. Like, I don't know what it is with you Arab moms, you hate sleepover? Yes. Never let us sleep over, you know. Mom, can I sleep over at Tommy's house? What's wrong with our house? Sleep, <laughs> sleep here. But Tommy was my best friend, and we used to hang out all the time, and then one year it was Christmas, and Tommy's mom took me and Tommy to the mall. And I was so excited because we were going to see Santa Claus, you know. And I always knew that we were a little different, you know. We were a little different. My dad spoke funny. We smelled like garlic. We ate leaves from the backyard, you know. I knew, I knew we were different. Because when I was young, we were real Palestinians, man. I remember sometimes I would be asleep at 7 o'clock on a Saturday morning, and by 10 o'clock, we were in New York City, the middle of New York City, demonstrating, like good Palestinians, man. And we went out there and we were chanting, you know, one, two, three, four, we don't want your racist war, five, six, seven, eight, get out of Palestine, you know. We didn't care if it rhymed. So we went to the mall to go see Santa Claus, and that's when I really realized how different I was because we stood in line for an hour and finally it was our turn and and Tommy went and sat on Santa Claus's lap and Santa said to him what do you want for Christmas little boy and Tommy said let me get a bike and Santa Claus said okay and then it was my turn and I sat on Santa Claus's lap and that's when I realized you know because I sat there and Santa said to me what do you want for Christmas little boy and I looked at him with my little Palestinian eyes and I said um Enforcement of UN Resolution 242, letting the Palestinians. <laughs> Ramadan in America is very confusing, especially for white people, like, because there's always a white guy who runs an office, you know, and his Arab employee comes to talk to him. Listen, boss, I'm going to need like uh, two days off work next week. Okay, Mohammed, no problem. Why? Well, it's a Muslim holiday. And we need to take off. Okay, sure, 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 Muhammad. What day? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Some, some guy gets on a rock in Saudi Arabia, then he puts it on Facebook, and we, we take off. <laughs> we have messed up dreams. That's our problem. You know, you ask a little white kid, what do you want to be? Policeman, fireman, doctor. Ask a little Palestinian kid, what do you want to be? Free. Just free. I always said the best looking men are Palestinian men, right? We're the best looking men, yeah. Yes. And the best looking women are Lebanese men. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows. It was really weird growing up the way I did because I, you know, being Palestinian in America, not, not a lot of people know, not a lot of people know what it is, what we are, you know? I get weird reactions from white people. Very weird. I remember one time I said to a guy in Palestinian, he said, you don't look Pakistani. I said, not Pakistani. Palestinian were the ones on the news. We're on CNN every day. We're throwing the rocks. We're fighting against the Israeli army. He goes, oh, you're the ones that are doing the suicide bombings all the time. And I said, hey. I said, I was Pakistani. Pakistani. <laughs> Sometimes I'm actually on the plane, and then they take me off the plane, and they ask me questions, and they let me back on the plane which is, you know, really stupid, and it's scary, because now the guy that's next to me is totally scared, you know? But I like to mess with him. I come back, I sit down on the plane, and I go, did they say where the emergency exits are? <laughs> what are you listening? See, we Palestinians, we get a bad rap. We do not hate Jewish people. We just have a messed up relationship with Jewish people, you know? We have, like, a really schizophrenic, messed up relationship. We don't know how to deal with it. 
we don't know how to answer the very important question, you know? Do you hate all Jewish people? Of course not! Do you like Jewish people? Of course not! You know, like, we don't know what to say! My dad is Christian, and my mom is Muslim. Mm. That is called the haram combination. <laughs> And this is what you get. This is the <laughs> this is the result. Thirty-five year old single guy that can never marry anybody. <laughs> but we're successful everywhere that we go. We are so successful. We are. And people always ask me why are Palestinians so successful? I tell them it's easy. It's not in our DNA. It's not genetic. It's not because we're related to Jesus. It is because we Palestinians, we don't have Plan B. We don't. We got to make it work. We cannot mess up and go back to our country. That's the way it works for us. Do you live there? Are you visiting or you live here now? You're visiting. Okay, good. Are you, how old are you? 20. 20? So you're getting married. So you're going to get married? <laughs> that sounds about right. Where are you from? Like, where are you from from? El Bire. El Bire. Oh, so you are going to get married. You're here to get married. For those of you who don't know, when us Palestinians come to Tel Aviv Airport, they have like a VIP room for us. <laughs> they let us stay there as long as we want. <laughs> no, none of my Palestinian friends ever go on vacation. And I always, people ask me that too. They say, why don't Palestinians go on vacation? And I tell them it's easy, it's simple. We don't like to leave our house for more than two or three days. <laughs> we know what happened last time we did that shit. You know how they say, like, if you enter a certain situation, you get, like, an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other shoulder, you know? But that's not what happens to me, because, because I want to be white so much, what happens to me is, like, I get, I get like, a, 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 a white guy on one shoulder and a really Arab guy, like my dad, on the other shoulder, and they fight, you know? Like, let's say um, I have people over my house and they're staying way too late. You know, the white guy will say, you should tell them to go home. And the Arab guy will say, no, you tell them they can stay as long as they want. They can sleep over for three days, it's fine. <laughs> or like if we're out to dinner and the bill comes, the Arab guy jumps up immediately, pay it! Pay the whole thing, show them how much money you have, pay cash. <laughs> and the white guy's like, I just had a hamburger and a Coke, let's split it. Or like a really beautiful tall woman in a bikini walks by. The white guy says, you should totally go after her. And the Arab guy says, I agree, I agree, you should, you should go 